tattoo last night, didn't you? Yeah. Wow, look at that. Was that Elvis Presley? I know, like, You didn't even you know see, You see Reese's? Oh, my God. Okay, let me ask you this, bud. What are we doing today? I don't know. You don't know? You've We're been here. We're working on the Dodge. We're working on the Dodge, bud. Exactly. So, what are we going to do? What did I just tell you we were going to do? Uh, Think, bud. I'm, I'm counting on you to say this right. The air conditioner? No, we already fixed it. gas that. leak? No, that was on the wheelies. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's go. Is if you look right here, uh, a year ago, no, you stand and watch. I'm gonna sit over there. Okay, go sit over there then, bud. Okay, go on. Okay, maybe Trevor will leave me alone so I can talk. What's the problem? Okay, can you sit down, please? Thank you. Okay, pay attention, all right? All right? All right, what we're gonna do, exactly, that's why I said not to sit down, see? Yeah, that's right. So you got that ledge there. You want to just stand and watch? No, Go get your stool, bud. Can you bring mine in here, too? It looks like it's going to be a long, 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 long day. Bring mine in here, too, bud. Oh, that hurts. Go. All right, what we're going to do here is the owner came over on a Saturday, a gloomy Saturday, one Saturday. And he went and uh, put the front wire harness in. I mean, I'm sorry, the dash harness. Now, on a vehicle like this, it actually has three wire harnesses, three sections. You got the engine compartment, the trunk compartment back there, and then you got the under dash unit. Okay, thank you. There's my stool. Wow. So what we're going to attempt to do today is we are going to go ahead and try to get the wire harness mounted in the dash where it goes, get all the wires uh, run, and this is a factory wire harness that he purchased somewhere, and if you notice, it has factory specs. All the wires are properly uh, lengthed. Uh, it's got all the proper uh, factory connections for the dash and for your lights and for your ignition switch right here and for your light switch and everything else. So this should be an easy hookup. If you notice, we got one hookup already done down here on the dimmer switch. Are you okay? What are you doing, bud? What you, well, why don't you why don't you trade chairs and you can have that one? I'll take the low one. Sure. Yeah. Switch. Are you okay? What are you doing, bud? What you, well, why don't you why don't you trade chairs and you can have that one? I'll take the low one. You sure? Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's the same, is it? Yeah, they're exactly the same chair. Look, snap on, snap on. See, it's the same exact identical. It's exactly. Oh, well, okay, just get whatever one you want. Okay, part timer. The same. Okay. Well, it's okay. Harder. Can I talk now, sir? Yes. You sure? Huh? Yes. You can. Are you comfortable? Yes. You relaxed? Yeah. Okay. As long as you're okay, everybody's all right. As long as Trevor's okay, we're okay. No, we're not all right because like when I'm having good days, then males will come in here sometimes having bad days. Okay. No. Well, we don't want to have a bad day, right? No. Want to have a good day. Is there anything else you got to say to make it a good day for everybody out there? It might rain, it might get hot. We don't know yet. So that's an iffy, iffy chance, right? Yeah. Okay, is there anything else to... Pro to you want the rain? Yeah. Uh, kind of, not really. Is there anything out there you want to motivate anybody on to get yeah. off their lazy asses and get something done? Yeah. What? Like, like I say, when Peter calls me to come, get, to come and get... I have to get ready about 4 o'clock sometimes. If I like 4 o'clock when? In the morning or at night? In the morning. That's right. you got to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Because it takes me i got to get a shower, get dressed, brush my teeth, eat breakfast. Wow. Go take my dogs out. Oh, my gosh. All before 5 o'clock when I pick you up. Well, it only takes a couple minutes to take a shower. Yeah. And then... But you got to do all that before you go to work, right? Yeah, but I... And that's real important to do everything. But you know what I really want to do? I just want to sleep in. That's what I want to do. But I'm up here early in the morning. You're up here early in the morning because you like it at the crock of dawn. 
Tell everybody. But I don't like it's crocodile when it's about to rain the next right when it turns sunny. Yeah. I don't like that. I like it when Why it's Why do you like it with the crocodile? What's up with that? What? It's just, I've been, every time I go on, every time I go on trips, we usually leave a crocodile. I've just been liking it. It's fun, huh? Uh-huh. It's nice outside. Because it makes the day bright and fresh. And yeah, new nice. day. New day. It's, it's real cool outside. That's right. It's, it's not that Everything's sunny. fresh. It's a brand new start yep. in life, right? And there's no car. There's so there's, if you had a bad day yesterday, that all goes out the door and starts no, a new no, day. No, no, listen. And then it's mostly no beer people awake sometimes. Yeah. I went to Mississippi. I left at 7 in the morning. Okay, can I tell everybody what we're doing now? Yeah. Hey, we appreciate that, Trevor. You're all right. Anything else? To, to do the wire harness properly, okay, it really takes, if you're not an expert wire harness guy, okay, what you want to do, and this is real important. Are you watching? You're not watching. Over here, if you want to learn. Okay, to do a restoration, let me talk real quick. Can I ask you a question? Please, Trevor. Okay, please, bro. I know you're excited. I know you want to learn a lot of stuff, but please, bud. What is it? What? Is it important? Okay, hang on, hang on, it's important. Trevor's got something to say that's real important. Let's see what he says. One, two, What's up, three. Buddy? What do you mean you want someone, you, what do you mean you want someone fresh on here? Huh? What do you mean you want someone fresh on here? What do you mean, what, what are we talking? You want someone fresh on here. What are you talking about, you a professional? Someone, yeah, working here. No, I need somebody that's uh, professional like me. So I can, so that means you and me can go out and uh, check on other cars to work on. I don't have to turn jobs down, and, and I can trust down? somebody to work here to do the job proper. That's what I was meaning. And close the shop, and not close the shop down. And close, so I don't have to close the shop down. So there's somebody here working. But is that what you were afraid of today? That I was going to fire you? Yeah, I get another person. Oh no, 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 no! Like, You'll always be part timer over Southwest Rod and Custom, but they can replace me. Oh no, we're not going to replace you, but don't worry. Okay. 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 Aren't you learning? Yeah. But you're turning into a professional. No, not really. I don't know how to weld. Yeah, I'm yeah but you're learning how to weld, and that's yeah, getting... Yeah, I'm level one. Well, level one's better than zero. True. Okay, I'll see you later. Listen, bud, if you want to be a professional, you got to listen and learn, bud. Listen. Okay? Okay. It's nice to ask questions, though, see? That's a smart thing in life, to ask as many questions as possible. See, Trevor just proved the point. If you want, if you want to be a professional in life, you got to ask a lot especially, of questions. Especially in school. Especially in math? school. So this is kind of like school for you, isn't it? When I'm in math, like when I do a lot, when I do a lot of questions, she said is, you know, ask a lot of questions about math and then you'll learn more. That's right. Listen, watch, learn, and ask as many questions. Well, you, I'm not people don't understand this, but each week, people, I have like, I'll have like one subtraction teacher. And then next week Hold I Hold on, you said people. Are you talking to everybody out there? No, I had three teachers in one classroom. For every, oh. For, we, and then we have a lot of students. But right now, you got look, one... Th no, P, look, it does this. Oh, my gosh. What's up, bud? There's, like, one class. Like, you know Trevor You know Trevor Howard? He's an eighth grader. Uh-huh. But now he's going to ninth grade. Well, yeah, there'll be, a, there'll be one teacher with an eighth grader. Uh -huh. One teacher with me and my dad's students, and one teacher with the other kids. Okay, so you got three teachers in one yeah, class. Yeah, so... I do one addition. I do addition with one teacher. I do subtraction with one teacher. I do multiplication with the, okay. oh, another teacher. Okay. But right now, how many teachers do you got right now? How many? One. Who is that? You for Then right sit now. down and shut up and listen so everybody else can learn too. I'm teaching a big class here, bud. We got worldwide viewers out there that want to learn what's going on, bud. I'm saying it's good to ask questions. It's good to ask questions. But if you watch and listen and learn, you're gonna all your questions will be answered, sir. Pop it again. There you go. Get them all popped up so we can get back to work. I'm popping them. Okay, are you done? Yeah. All right. So what Trevor's trying to say is if, if you have a question, don't be shy. Okay, ask that question. Get the question asked. And I'm sure everybody across the road just heard me, what I was saying. A matter of fact, I'm going to show you what it looks like across the road, just to let everybody know. If you look across the road over there, can we look at, can we look across the road, Trevor? Let's show everybody. Because once in a while, when we're talking and we're, we're getting loud and hollering and screaming, what happens? Those guys come out there and say, what the fuck's going on over there? So if you look across the street, you'll see that there's a building, okay? 
And they start real early in the morning because of the heat and all their doors are wide open, see? So this is kind of like a personal soap opera for them guys, bud. What's up, bud? Can I get back to work here, Trevor? No, I'm, on way, I'm on the way there. We're on that road. We're going to go like, and you're like, boo, boo, and you're going to coffee. Oh, yeah. Can, 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 tomorrow morning, can we, can we use your camera and make a YouTube video while we're going? Oh, with my coffee in my hand? No, while, we're, while you're driving. While I'm driving down that sloppy road? Okay. Yeah, we'll do that, buddy. Right now, though, we're making a video of what? Of what? Hi. But what are we making a video of? The wire harness, my friend. Okay. Can I go ahead and show these people real quick? Then you can ask me quick. Okay, so what you see behind me here, this is called a service manual. Now this is a certified uh, factory, factory spec service manual for our Dodge 1968 Dodge Coronet. And if you look at it, it's pretty much the Bible of the book. Uh, did I say book? Bible of the car, okay? Bible, that means that it's gonna tell you everything you need to know from start to finish, every nut and bolt, everything. And it's very important that when you restore a vehicle to this magnitude that you have a book such as this. If you look at it real close, it shows you every single detail, it gives you every single part number, it gives you all the specs of everything, everything that you can imagine. Okay, it has all of the vehicle broke down. If you look right here, okay, it's exactly like a factory original manual that you would purchase, okay? And if you look right here, this is what we're working on. We're in the electrical system uh, section. And this is our dash that we're looking at. And what we're gonna do, okay, and there's your horns, okay? I mean, it just tells everything. Here's part of your wire harness, which we're gonna be using that part today, okay? So it's always important to make sure that you have a book that is related to your vehicle when putting your car back together. When you're stripping your car, don't worry about taking it apart. Just make sure that you put everything, organize it and organize it well, put everything in its own place, okay, where it should be. So at the later date, when you put it back together, you'll have it. Today, we're gonna to be working on the wire harness. We're gonna to try to get all the wire harness in the vehicle, get it all lined out and get it factory spec original. This is Pete, we'll be back. Trevor's excited today for some reason. Did you take your medication this morning, sir? Okay, he's bored, he's playing the drums on his chest over there in the background. Let me get to work so he can learn something. Watch the videos, nurture the videos, and learn from the videos. Wake up, I see you out there dozing off. You're not learning. We'll see you later. This is Pete. Take it easy. Trevor has one more question before I turn it off. What's that, I bud? I turn it off. You, no, you, go ahead. Go I, ahead. No, let's go ahead and finish it out. Is, is that the guy with the dog? What over guy? There? Over there. Over there. That's the guy with the dog in the white truck. Oh, yeah. The, that's the that's owner? them, bud. That's, that's them. That's the owner? Uh-huh. But we don't want to go talk to him, huh? We got work to do, bud. We don't got time to bullshit today. What time did we get to work today, sir? Uh, I think it's five or six. Five o'clock. That means we came in early so we can get stuff done. And leave early. And leave early. Let's get it done. I don't okay. know if we're going to leave early now because we're not doing nothing. Let's do some stuff so we okay. can leave early. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Bye. Wow. Such an ambitious kid that wants to learn. If only the whole world was like him, we'd have it made. What's up, Trevor? All right, see you later, bud. You gonna wave to everybody?